Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to update or edit MySQL table data by using Vue JavaScript and Axios package with PHP. In previous tutorial, we have used model for insert or add data into MySQL database by using Vue JavaScript with PHP script. Now for update or edit MYSQL table data, first we have go to index page, and here first we want to make edit button. For this in third table data tag, we have write button type is equal to button, name is equal to edit, and class is equal to edit. Here we have write at the rate click directives is equal to fetch data function with row.id as argument. So when we have click on edit button, then it will execute fetch data function. Now we have go to view JavaScript code part, and here we have go to methods section. And here we have make fetch data method with callback function, and here we have pass ID as argument. This ID value get from HTML table. Under this function, we have write axios.post method with two argument. In first argument, we have write action.php, it will send request to this file. And in second argument, we have write action variable, with fetch single as value, and id variable, and in value we have write id argument, this data will be sent with axios request. Next. We have write then callback function, then function will be called, if request completed successfully, and it will receive data in JSON format. Under this function, we have write application dot first name variable is equal to, response dot data dot first name, it will fill first name text box with value. After this, we have write application dot last name is equal to response dot data dot last name. It will fill last name text box with data. For assign value to hidden field, here we have write application dot hidden id variable is equal to response dot data dot id. It will assign ID value to hidden field. For pop-up model on web page, here we have write application dot my model is equal to true. It will pop up model with field data in input field on web page. For change submit button text, here we have write application dot action button variable is equal to update. So when model will pop up, then submit button text will be changed from insert to update. And lastly, for change model title, here we have write application dot dynamic title variable is equal to edit data. It will change model title when we have click on edit button. Now we have go to action.php file, and here we have write dollar received data with action variable value is equal to fetch single. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from sample table where id is equal to dollar received data with id variable value 
it will fetch data from sample table based on value of ID. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable it will make query for execution after this for query execution we have write dollar statement variable with execute method this method will execute above query for get query execution result here we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. This method will return query execution result. For fetch data from dollar result variable, here we have write for each loop and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar data ID variable is equal to dollar row ID variable. After this, we have write dollar data first name variable is equal to dollar row first name variable. It will store first name table column data. Same way for store last name table column data. Here we have write dollar data last name variable is equal to dollar row last name variable. So this way we have store data in dollar data variable in array format. Now we want to send this data to Axios request in JSON format. So here we have write echo statement with JSON encode method and under this we have write dollar data variable now we have check output in browser friends here first we have refresh web page after refresh of web page here we can see edit button has been appear in each row in edit column so we have click on this row edit button after click on edit button, here we can see model has been pop up in browser. In model, we can see title has been changed, submit button text has been changed, and model text box has been filled with data. So this all things we have set in fetch data function. When we have click on this submit button, then it will call submit data function, which we have already make in method section. And we have go to index page, and here we have go to submit data function, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write application dot action button is equal to update, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, here we have write axios.post method with two argument. In first argument, we have write file name to which we want to send request. So here we have write action.php file name. And in second argument, we have to define which data we want send to server. So here first we have write action variable with update as value. Same way we have write first name variable and in value we have write application dot first name variable and last name variable and in value we have write application dot last name variable. After this, we have write hidden ID variable, and in value we have write application dot hidden ID, so this variable has been defined, which will be sent at the time of sending of Axios request. After this, 
we have write then callback function. This function will be called if Axios request has been completed successfully and it will receive data in JSON format. Under this function, we have write application dot my model variable is equal to false. It will remove model from web page. For display latest inserted data, here we have write application dot fetch all data function. This function will display latest inserted data on web page. For clear value of first name text box, so here we have write application dot first name variable is equal to blank value. Same way for clear last name text box value. So here we have write application dot last name variable is equal to blank value. After this, we want to clear hidden field value. So here we have write application dot hidden ID is equal to blank value. Lastly for pop up success message. So here we have write alert statement with response dot data dot message. It will pop up success message on web page. Now we have go to action dot php file. And here we have write dollar received data with action variable is equal to update. If this condition true, then it will execute else block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar data variables equal to array. In first key, we have write double colon first name. And in value we have write dollar received data with first name variable value. In second key, we have write double colon last name. And in value we have write dollar received data with last name variable value. And in last key, we have write double colon ID. And in value we have write dollar received data with hidden ID value. So this way we have store data in dollar data variable in array format. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to update sample table set first name is equal to double colon first name last name is equal to double colon last name where id is equal to double colon id this update query will update sample table data below this query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable Next we want to execute query, so here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar data variable, it will execute update query. After this, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array with key message and in value we have write data updated message. Now for send response to Axios request, so here we have write echo statement with JSON encode method and under this we have write dollar output variable, it will send data to Axios request in JSON format. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page. And here we can see that edit button has been appear in row of data for edit particular row data. 
So we have click on edit button. After click on edit button, model has been pop in web page. With field input text box data, here we can see that model title has been changed and submit button text has been changed. Now for edit data, here we have change in first name text box and after change first name text box data, now we have click on edit button. So, we have click on edit button. After click on edit button, we have received success pop-up message in browser, and here in table, we can see updated data. So, in this video tutorial, we have seen how to fetch single data from MYSQL table, and display in modal dialog box, and how to update or edit MYSQL table data using Vue JavaScript with PHP script, Axios package and modal dialog box. Now in next part, we will learn how to delete or remove data from MYSQL database using Vue JavaScript with PHP script.